Hi and welcome along to AFTV Transfer Daily, the show that keeps you up to date with players that have been linked with the January transfer move to Arsenal. Now, first of all, it's been a great, great night last night for Stan Kroenke. Brilliant night for him because his LA Rams have reached the final, or as they call it, the Super Bowl final in American football. Massive achievement for the LA Rams and what a great night it's been for Stan Kroenke. One of his teams is doing very, very well indeed. And, um, you know, he could be on the verge of winning the biggest prize um, in American sport. Um, however, whilst he's celebrating and uh, having a good time today, can somebody please just remind him that there's 10 days left of the transfer window. There's a little club over the pond in England, in London, called Arsenal that needs your help. Um, so if you get a bit of time today in the midst of your celebrations, don't forget us over here in the UK, in Arsenal. We need your help right now, right? With transfers. Now, will we be able to get the job of Denis Suarez and get that done this week um, in time for perhaps the Manchester United game on Friday night? Um, the saga still continues. I think we're going to learn a lot more about the deal this week. Um, Arsenal, of course, want to get it done. Suarez wants to get it done. The ball now is firmly in the court of Barcelona. Um, do Barcelona want to get it done? Um, we've been reading over the past couple of days that they do want to get it done now, that they have agreed to the deal, which would see him come on loan to Arsenal with an option for Arsenal to buy him at the end of the season um, and that Barcelona basically just negotiating a deal to sign him on for a long, longer contract at Barcelona just to protect against any injuries if he comes to Arsenal. But I think I speak for every Arsenal fan when I say we would love for this one to get done this week. Just to see somebody coming through those doors um, would be good um, because, you know, listen, I still feel even though we had a great victory at the weekend, there's still a battle ahead. We still need reinforcements. You saw yesterday, ah, oh, that, that, that was horrible yesterday. Our Tottenham, in the last seconds of the game against Fulham, managed to get that winner. Um, we really want to drag Tottenham back into the mix of that top four um, fight, fight as well. Um, so getting somebody like Denis Suarez into the team, refreshing the team, perking up the team, would be absolutely brilliant, but let's see how that one develops this week. Now, also be linked today with Gelson Martins. Remember him? Um, throughout the summer, in my transfer daily, I think I was mentioning him nearly every single day. Um, he's a winger, Portuguese international, plays for, or, or, or at that time, should I say, was playing for sport in Lisbon. Also were heavily linked with him. However, he ended up going to Atletico Madrid, the 23-year-old, and he's been there this season. It hasn't been going great for him um, over there in Atletico. Only started one league game this season. And um, he was left out of Atletico's squad at the weekend, which has fueled lots and lots of speculation that he's on his way out of the club. Now, the favourites to sign uh, Gelson Martins is Monaco. Uh, Thierry Henry's team splashing the cash over there desperately trying to make sure that they stay um, in Liga and they've been having a bad season. Um, so they seem to be the favourites to um, take him. But apparently Arsenal have emerged as well as a team that are willing to take Gelson Martin, Martins, who of course is a winger. And of course Arsenal were very interested in in the summer. They're prepared to take him on loan. And anytime you hear about a loan deal, you can't discount it because... Uh, you know, Arsenal at the moment, everybody knows that they're looking for loan deals. Now, it's a Portuguese newspaper um, over there that's uh, reporting this, that um, Arsenal are willing to take um, Martins on loan. Of course, we know that Arsenal require width in the team. Could this happen? We'd have to wait and see. Monaco are the favourites to get this one done. But um, it's everywhere today about Gelson Martins. Also, also linked with um, a youngster who plays for Roma, um, goes by the name of uh, Nicolo Zanilo. Uh, he's 19-year-old midfielder um, at Roma. Now, Arsenal apparently been scouting him very, very hard indeed. Um, 
They've been looking at a couple of players from, from Roma, um, including Under, um, who I've spoken about before on the show. But there's a lot of reports emerging as well that whilst they've been looking at him, they've also been looking at Zanolio, who's a 19-year-old um, midfielder. Um, they've liked what they've seen and said to be preparing um, to make a bid for him come the summer. Not now, but come the summer, Arsenal might be prepared to make a deal for him. He only joined um, Roma in July, so he's got a long-term contract, 19-year-old. Could be very expensive if Arsenal do go in for him, but um, reports today saying that Arsenal are interested in him. Now, Mesut Ozil, going to be a big week for him, I think. Um, of course, he didn't get to come onto the pitch uh, at the weekend um, against Chelsea. I suppose, you know, listen, tactically, he didn't start the game. And then it wasn't really the game for him to come on because we were trying to shore it up at the back. We had the injury to Bellerin. So I don't think there was anybody after that game sort of saying, oh, why didn't he get, bring Mesut Ozil on? We could see that that wasn't the game for him. Um, Unai Emery saying after the game, that, um, and these are his quotes, I spoke to him also and I want him to be ready for the match today. I wanted him to be ready for the match today. For the next matches, I'll like him, like, <laughs> like this is pronunciation, like all the players in the team. So he wants, he's saying that he wants Mesut Ozil to be ready for the games ahead. Now there's lots of speculation that he will start on Friday night against Manchester United. Um... Again, if he didn't start in that game, what would that say for um, Mesut Ozil's future um, at Arsenal? You know, I've, I'm surely that would be saying that you know he's he's going to be he's going to be on his way out this January transfer window. But I, I get the feeling that he will start. Um, the points have been made. We know that he's not going to go anywhere right now because you know that that fee, the the you know three hundred and fifty thousand pounds a week. Nobody's going to really pick up that um, sort of wages right now. Mesut Ozil is not going to take a, a, a price drop. He's not, you know, making sounds like he wants to leave or is going to be willing to be forced out. His agents come out already this month and said that he wants to stay, he wants to be part of the team. So I think we've reached that stage now where Unai Emery looks on it and says, I have to get him back playing in the team. I have to get him back you know, working hard. And maybe Unai Emery might have made his point. And I think we'll get a good opportunity to see that come this Friday if Unai Emery has made his point and we are going to get the best out of Mesut Ozil. As I've said before, surely if we've not got no money to spend, all the time for arguments about whether he's staying, etc., etc., is for the summer and let's get this guy back in the team and get this guy back in the team playing. So... Um, it's going to be, well, you know, I said this last week. <laughs> I said last week that it's going to be an interesting week because we're going to see what happens. But we didn't really get anything done last week. Nothing moved. All we heard was doom and gloom with missile intact, etc. But at least we go into this week with a little bit more optimism because, you know, as I said, you know, the, the victory over Chelsea was huge. We're still on for that top four. So if we could go out there and make a couple of decent signings to strengthen this team, it would be brilliant. Stan, as I said, Stan over there in the US, right? You're in a good mood now. The LA Rams are doing brilliant. You're in the Super Bowl final. Don't forget about us. Do not forget about us over here, right? We need help, this team. Um, listen, thanks for watching the show. As I said, um, I've been reminding the people a couple of times, my show returns to Channel 4 um, this week, Friday, uh, midnight, on Channel 4, the Real Football Fan Show. It's a brilliant show. We've got some great guests. We've got Tamar Hassan in the studio, if, if you remember him from the, um, the film The Football Factory. He's going to be in the studio. We've also got Ian Wright in the studio. We've got some brilliant guests, some brilliant new features as well this time around. So please... Make sure you watch and support the Real Football Fan Show on Channel 4. And if you haven't subscribed yet to AFTV, please make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching the show. And we'll be back here with Transfer Daily tomorrow. Let's hope we get something done soon. <laughs>